there's no really direct connection. I could just as well be an algebraic topologist and do the same things. There's a more remote connection, possibly. Uh, I'm, I'm, at least from my point, people are interested in linguistics for all sorts of reasons, but my own interest for, since the beginning, for 50 years, has been uh, as a way of exploring some aspects of human uh, higher mental faculties and ultimately of human nature, uh, which should show up in every domain, not just in, I mean, language happens to be one of the few areas where you can study uh, very core human capacities, unique and core human capacities in a very intense way and uh, achieve some non results that go beyond superficial understanding. In most areas, it's very hard to do it, but this is one area in which you can. Uh, and uh, at the core of this capacity for language, it's been recognized for centuries, uh, is a kind of what was sometimes called a creative aspect, uh, the free ability to do what you and I are doing, to uh, express our thoughts without limit, within constraints, but without limit um, in novel ways and so on. That's somehow a fundamental part of human nature. It's the core of Cartesian philosophy was this ability, for example. Well, similar questions arise in every aspect of uh, human capacity, and again, it's traditional. So David Hume, um, 250 years ago, pointed out that the foundation of morals uh, must be what we nowadays call generative grammar. He didn't call it that. Uh, but it must be some set of principles that we're capable of applying in novel situations, uh, again, without limit. And he pointed out these principles have to be part of our nature because there's no way to acquire them from experience. In theory, you can learn something about these aspects of human nature, and that uh, moving over to the domain of human affairs, including politics, but personal life or anything else, uh, anyone who may, takes any stand on anything, uh, say if you're in favor of keeping things the way they are, or some minor reform, or a revolution, or whatever it may be, um, I mean, if you're serious about it, if you're acting as a uh, kind of a moral agent, you think what you do should meet certain minimal moral standards. You're taking that position because you think it's it's good for people. It's going to somehow conform. It's going to bring out and amplify and offer possibilities for their fundamental nature to express itself. Well, at that point, there's a theoretical connection, but it's pretty abstract. Because when you deal with anything as complex as human beings, you're always on the surface. In fact, we can't answer questions like this about insects. Uh, it'll be a long time, if ever, before uh, uh, one can have a, anything like scientific understanding of any questions like these. So if there's a kind of connection in spirit, but uh, not in no deductive connections. In the last 40 years, the country has just become a lot more civilized in many respects. I mean, the big popular movements that have had a massive effect on the country aren't even from the 60s. They're from the 70s and the 80s. So there was only the bare beginnings of a feminist movement in the 60s. It became a major popular movement in subsequent years. Uh, the environmental movement almost didn't exist. It's the 70s and the 80s. Uh, the same with the solidarity movements, the anti-nuclear movement, the uh, currently what's called ridiculously anti-globalization, meaning support for a form of globalization that has concern for people, not investors. Uh, those are all much more recent things, and they're massive, and they've changed the character of the country. Uh, so I think, uh, look, it's not a pretty world, but I think things have improved. Uh, and, and uh, you know, there are many different measures of this, and it's pretty substantial, and I think it's very important. It shows that things can be achieved in the only ways that are around, by educational efforts, by organizing, by activism of all sorts. And we have every opportunity open to us. You know, we're not in Turkey. You know, we're not in Colombia. We're not going to get assassinated. We're not going to get thrown into prisons. Uh, every option is open. Uh, and we have all kinds of privilege. It's just a question whether you want to pursue them. I, as a follow-up 
question to that. I was wondering if Could you talk a little more into the mic? I think, I think that should be the last question. Yeah. That was okay. the last question. I'm sorry. I've got to go, <laughs> got to go off to something else, I'm afraid. <laughs> so if you I have a boss, too. <laughs> My wife. 